So what's one of the things that software developers don't like to do? Well, most of us don't like to do documentation. Documentation is no fun. We like coding, not writing. If you're following proper coding standards, the ones described in my book, the documentation is a, an important part, you know, writing your code. But again, we don't like to do it. GhostDoc makes it really easy to do. If you're following proper naming standards of your methods and properties, the job is going to be almost completely done by GhostDoc. If I want to document this method here, log exception messages, I just click on the method itself. I can just right mouse click in on it, on it, go to GhostDoc Pro, say document this, and boom, it writes the documentation for you. So it automatically figured out what you're doing here. It logs the exception messages. So since I use proper naming standards, they came out pretty easy. Parameter name, the EX, and it's better to do a little bit of writing. It also automatically put in the exception it's going to throw, which in this case is the argument null exception. So there you go, you're all done. Uh, so very, very easy to do. Also, when you're documenting your methods, if you've implemented an interface, for example, I'm implementing the IXML serializable interface here, read XML. So here's my read XML method and I want to document it, watch what happens. What GhostDoc does is actually takes the documentation from the interface. And since this is a Microsoft interface, it's documented properly, generates XML, an object from the XML representation and uh, has the parameter name and you're all done. There's really no need to probably change this because it's it does exactly what the interface wants you to do. So one of the newer features in GhostDoc Pro is spell checking. As we all know, most software developers don't spell very well. We all have dyslexia to some degree. It's important for you to spell your methods correctly, not only because it makes you look better, but if you do it incorrectly and it gets in production, it's going to be very, very difficult to change. So you can see here, GhostDoc put quickly lined under the misspelling right here. So I can just click on it, say exceptions, which is the proper spelling I want for this. And it fixed it for you. Not only did it fix it for you, but it refactored it everywhere else this method is being used. There's lots of features to GhostDoc. Uh, you can document this, which is what I've been using in this demonstration. You can document an entire type and an entire file. If you do that, make sure you go back and look at what GhostDoc wrote. And you can do the same thing with the spell checking. If you document all your methods with XML comments, then you can actually turn those comments into help files. So if you go to your project properties, you can see here I have generate XML documentation file. And what that does every time you build, it spits out an XML file, not very usable, except if you turn it into a help file. So GhostDoc allows you to do that. I just go over here to build help file. I can pick what I want to output, you know, HTML, help files, websites. I can pick what scope I want to use, which I definitely would minimally pick public, protected, and inherited. I have some header and footers, and I can also pick which assemblies I want in the documentation. Press OK. And when it's all done, it goes into the folder. Voila! Got a really cool looking MSDN style help file. Anybody using your assembly can drill in in your namespaces, the classes in your namespaces. You can see here it shows you how, how it looks in C Sharp or VB. Just like other help files, you can drill down on the specific members, see all the members. You can go into an actual property. It'll show you the property. It also created a website uh, documentation for you. So it's the exact same thing. I can drill in on a namespace, drill in on a class, I can go to the members of that class. I can see all the information there, drill in on a method, and it looks just like any other help file. Very, very easy to do, very productive, uh, just spits this out very quickly. So if you just take a little bit of time, document your methods and enumerations correctly, making this really cool looking help files are very easy with. Go stop.